Hey everyone! Today we're going to be learning an intermediate form known as manhada. We're actually going to be learning two forms that are manhada that are a little bit different. But first we're going to start with the much more commonly known one. And the way you make it is you take a verb stem and then you attach er if it ends in a consonant or you just attach a lir if it ends in a vowel. Now, if the verb stem ends with a lir as well, you won't have to do anything. You can simply ignore this. So if you're working with the verb sarda to live, well, then you get sar and you're done. Directly after that, you'll have a space. And then after that, you'll add man hada. So let's make an example. The verb hada, the verb stem is ha. It ends in a vowel. So you'll attach a lir, har, man hada. Mokta, to eat. The stem is mok. It ends in a consonant. Mogur, man hada. You'll see this used with both action and descriptive verbs, but most of the time, this is going to simply be used with action verbs. When it's used with an action verb, you get the meaning, something is worth doing. Another way you might see this translated is saying, it's acceptable to do something. That's kind of like saying something's not bad. Like it's not bad to try it. It's not bad to do something, it's acceptable. I will accept it, it's not bad. So therefore I accept it. These sorts of expressions are commonly used when you're recommending something to someone else. You're saying, yeah, it's still worth trying. It's worth going. It's worth living there. It's acceptable. You're not saying it's a great thing. You're saying acceptable, it's good. It's not bad. That place in Seoul, although it's a bit farther away from where you wanna be, it's still worth living in. It's still acceptable to live there. It's still not bad if you live there. I'm kind of recommending it. It's not my highest recommendation, but it's still a recommendation. Another way you might see this translated is, is that something is doable or that something is bearable. You're not giving it high praise, but you're saying, yeah, it's doable. Yeah, it's bearable. It's not too bad. It's not bad. It's acceptable. With descriptive verbs, the translation in English will often sound better if you translate it like this. So saying something is natural to be. Yeah, it's natural that someone is. To be tired. Yeah, it's understandable you'd be tired. In this sort of way, you're saying it's acceptable. Literally. Yeah, it's kind of acceptable. Yeah, I get it. That sort of meaning. Busan, kalmanheo. What goes here? What goes here? There's something else that we didn't talk about. Manhada itself is actually a descriptive verb. Now, it's not used on its own. Therefore, it's used for describing something. So when you say Busan is worth going to, is worth visiting, what you're saying is Busan is describing it. Un. So you'll use the topic marker after whatever it is you're describing. Or you could use the subject marker, depending on what it is you're trying to say. Busanen kalman heo. So you're saying, as for Busan, so let's talk about Busan. It is kalman heo. It is worth going. It is worth visiting. 우리 차는 오래됐지만 아직 쓸만해요. 우리 차, our car, my car. 오래됐지만, our car is old, but 아직 still 쓰다, use, 쓸만해요. So it's still worth using. It's still acceptable to use. It still works. Our car is old, yeah, but it still works. That's sort of meaning. 우리 차는 오래됐지만 아직 쓸만해요. 조금 달긴 하지만 먹을 만해요. 조금, a little bit. 달다, to be like sugary sweet. Like, ah, it's too sweet. 긴, 기는 하다. So like it is a bit sweet. 조금 달긴 하지만 먹을 만해요. Literally, it's worth eating. So it's worth your time. It's acceptable if you were to eat it. So it's not bad to eat it. Or more naturally, just it's not bad. Yeah, it's a little bit sweet. Okay, but it's not bad. 좀 달긴 하지만 먹을 만해요. 예전 집은 So the house a while ago. So the house we used to live at a while ago. This might be a few years ago. 조금 춥긴 했지만 It was a little bit cold. So the house we used to live at a few years ago was a little cold. But 위치가 좋아서 Because the location, 위치, is really good. 살만하다 To be worth living. So this would translate more as Not it was worth living but it wasn't bad living there. It was doable. The house we used to live at was a little bit cold in the winter, but you know, it wasn't bad to live there. It was worth our time living there. That sort of feeling is what you get with this form. 예전 집은 조금 춥긴 했지만 위치가 좋아서 살만 했어요. 영수는, so 영수, 성격이 좋아서, because his personality is really good, he's got a great personality, so therefore, 
친구가 많을 만하다고 생각해요. 친구가 많다. He has a lot of friends. 많을 만하다. It is understandable. It's only natural. So I think it's only natural that he'd have a lot of friends because his personality is good. So he's got a good personality, so I think it's understandable that he has a lot of friends. Youngsoo는 성격이 좋아서 친구가 많을 만하다고 생각해요. 그 집은 수영장도 있고. So that house, 수영장, a swimming pool, so it also has a swimming pool and 크다, 커서, because it's big. So because that house is big and it even has a swimming pool, therefore it's understandable or it's natural that it would be Pisada, expensive. Pisar man heo. That house even has a swimming pool and it's big. So it's natural or it's understandable that it would be expensive. But there is another form of manhada with a space. The way it works is you take a noun and then you directly attach after that man and hada. This form is used to say that something is the same size as whatever noun comes before it. Literally, what this form means is to reach the extent, or to get to the extent of some level. It's used to talk about the size of something. That can be small, that can be big, that can be anything that has to do with its size. This form is also the origin of other words you may know, iman and kuman. Iman, literally this amount, this 정도, and kuman, that much. So when you tell someone to stop something and you say, kuman he, kuman haseo, you're saying literally haseo, do just that much. And you're done in that sort of meaning. I orguri saguaman haneo. Hey, the kid's face is the size of an apple. I orguri saguaman haneo. The kid's face is the size of an apple. Che tarinan. My leg. Kokiri tari. An elephant's leg. Kokiri tari man heo. So my leg is the size of an elephant's leg. Che tarinan. Kokiri tari man heo. You can change this to whatever animal you want if you think your legs are like that animal. I don't know. Maybe I'd have like a like monkey or something for mine. So that's everything you need to know. And I will see you again next time. Krum, tawitoba.